Honourable Member for Lakeland. Mr. Speaker, violent crime is increasing under this Prime Minister. Gun crime is up 83 per cent since the Liberals took office. At the same time, they're going to make it allowable for criminals to get house arrests instead of go to jail for armed robbery, weapons trafficking, drug trafficking, breaking and entering possession of illegal firearms and drive-by shootings. He's going after law-abiding Canadians but going soft on gangsters who don't care about his rules and paper will work. Will he scrap? Bill C-5. Right on, Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, our criminal justice reform legislation turns the page on failed Conservative Party policies. They claim to be tough on crime, but really just tough on black Canadians and Indigenous people. What our communities need is a justice system that punishes criminals. What we don't need is a system that targets rape. The, the, Honourable, the Right Honourable Prime Minister, you can back up a little bit. Mr. Speaker, our criminal justice reform legislation turns the page on failed Conservative Party policies right. where they claim to be tough on crime, but we're really just tough on black Canadians and on Indigenous Canadians. What we need is a system that doesn't target people because of systemic discrimination, but sends people to prison because, or sends people to prison because they struggle with addiction. This bill is another step forward to create a system that is fair, effective, and keeps Canadians safe. The Honourable Member for Lakeland. That's shameful. So instead of vile insults, let's actually talk about reality. Here, it's here. record highs in Toronto alone for most shootings, most murders, and most people injured in 2018 or 2019. And many who harm innocent Canadians are multiple repeat offenders. But this Prime Minister, he wants to make it easier for them to stay home among their victims for crimes like sexual and physical assaults, human trafficking, kidnapping, criminal harassment, failure to give the necessities of life, and arson. These are major crimes that cause lifelong trauma and loss. So when will he stop punishing law-abiding Canadians and actually crack down on criminals? Yeah. Right on, Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, let us be absolutely clear and avoid any disinformation from the Conservatives. This legislation does not stop police from charging people with gun offences or prosecutors from pursuing convictions. What it does make is make sure that criminals face serious penalties while addressing the over-representation of black Canadians and Indigenous peoples in the criminal justice system. This is a responsible approach to keep communities safe. Thank you.